there was an incident in Pasadena, California. I was there. I don't drink much coffee. I don't have a relationship with caffeine. But every now and then, I'll be delighted to have a nice cup of hot cocoa. And I went to one of these coffee houses, you know, with the chalkboard out front. And so I had, you know the kind I'm talking about. They're all over Brooklyn. You trip on the chalkboards in Brooklyn. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm in there. I order hot chocolate. And I order it with whipped cream, of course, right? And it comes to the table, and there's no whipped cream. And I said, I ordered this with whipped cream. And they said, oh, we put it on. And I said, well, where is it? Oh, he said, it's sunk to the bottom. <laughs> I then said, <laughs> either the laws of physics that apply everywhere in the universe are suspended in your coffee shop, <laughs> or you didn't put whipped cream on my hot cocoa. And he looked indignant. Really? <laughs> now, to his credit, rather than continue to argue with me, he intended to prove me wrong. Whoa. So he went into the kitchen, brought out the, the whipped cream, scooped it up, popped it in my, in my hot cocoa, and it bobbed once and floated atop. And there it was. <laughs> did you of invite? Of course, whipped cream. Not, of it. course, whipped cream has to float. <laughs> because first of all, before it was whipped cream, it was cream. Okay. <laughs> and old timers remember, what does cream do in unhomogenized milk? It floats to the top, and you skim off the cream, leaving behind skim milk. Okay. <laughs> This is how that works. Now you take the heavy cream and then whip it, putting air into it. It is not going to sink on any known liquid devised by man. Okay? So. All right. So, so here's my point. The, the lesson there is. Yes. Uh, I'm. I'm a fan of the edict, if an argument lasts more than five minutes, then both sides are wrong. <laughs> I think that applies maybe 85% of the time, but yes. it's a good, it's a good, it's a good uh, tenet to, yes. to, to carry with you. Now watch. Um, this is how science works. One researcher comes up with a result, and that is not the truth, no. No, a scientific emergent truth is not the result of any one experiment. What has to happen is somebody else has to verify it, preferably a competitor, preferably someone who doesn't want you to be correct, <laughs> such as my waiter. <laughs> he went out to prove me wrong and got the same result that I had declared. We can call that the beginnings of an emergent truth about whipped cream. <laughs> now we need someone to do it in Asia and in Europe and, 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 and then you get a trend and you can then declare that a consensus of observation and experiments has emerged in the scientific community. Whipped cream floats on hot chocolate. <laughs> And that waiter today is getting a PhD in buoyancy. <laughs>